name is Calista Lee from Troop 3197 in Manhattan. And I'm happy to introduce our next honoree, Amy Brooks. Ms. Brooks played a variety of sports growing up and eventually played for the Stanford women's basketball team. Her team won three conference championships and competed in the NCAA Final Four. Her leadership journey began with the very first organization she joined, the Girl Scouts. Today, Ms. Brooks is the Executive Vice President of the NBA's Team Marketing and Business Operations. This means she and her team are responsible for helping teams sell tickets, fill the buildings, and make sure everyone at the game has a fun time. This includes teams in the NBA, the WNBA, and the NBA Development League. Ms. Brooks recently attended a program with three or 30 of my sister Girl Scouts who are participating in a program about movie making and technology. As she advised the girls, the ability to tell a good story and market that story is critical to be successful in sales. When I sell Girl Scout cookies, I know I sell more cookies when I'm able to share the story of where the proceeds will go. For my troop this year, it was the horseback riding trip we wanted to take. Ms. Brooks also emphasized the importance of technology. She advised the girls to think not only about how we use and consume technology, but to imagine how we might create and design new technology to address the needs we see in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage our next honoree, Amy Brooks. Helping to present the award to Ms. Brooks will be Girl Scout Sabat Ali and Girl Scout Adriana Roberts. First off, thanks to Calista, that was a good job, wasn't it? I don't know horseback riding, but I'd love to try that with you, so thank you. I first just want to, I'm very honored to be here uh, in front of you all and want to thank the Girl Scouts of Greater New York and especially want to thank my co-worker and dear friend Carrie Tatlock, who's one of the gala organizers. Thank you and all my co-workers here. Um, so, as a mom of girls who are four and six, this honor means even more to me. My six-year-old daughter, Audrey, isn't here today, unfortunately, but I, I've had a chance to talk about the Girl Scouts a lot with her. She's gonna be joining Girl Scouts for the first time this fall. And I, I asked her, why do you wanna be a Girl Scout? And she thought about it, we were talking about it this weekend, and she said, because they're not mean, because they, like to help people, and she thought about it more, she said, and because they're good colorers, and I like coloring. So, um, which is pretty, pretty on point, you know. So you, you all saw the video. I was really fortunate to be able to attend the event downtown last month with all, with all of the Girl Scouts, and just very eye-opening to me how Girl Scouts can provi provide such a foundation by instilling self-confidence through real world life skills. And I was talking to them a lot about marketing and st storytelling, which we do a lot of at the NBA, but they were absolutely technology whizzes. They had a filmmaker there. That this was not the case about when I was a Girl Scout, which I'll tell you about in a minute, but they had a, a local expert filmmaker there teaching them storyboarding and the girls were just running circles ar around me when it came to technology. So just to see that in action and to see the foundation the Girl Scouts provide, it's no surprise that most successful female business leaders actually happen to be Girl Scouts. It's, it's just a fantastic organization. So um, I want to ask the crowd a question. How, how many of you were kids in the 80s? Raise your hand. Keep your hand up if you had bad hair in the 80s. So growing up in Sacramento, most people had bad hair. C case in point, there's a, a photo that my coworkers have been waiting to see. Oh boy, I can't believe I'm showing this is a whole group of people. Um, so I was, uh, I was a Girl Scout from ages 
uh, six through eight, first through third grade. My mom was a co-troop leader, and it, it really provided a great foundation for me in introducing me. When I was six years old, there weren't sports like there are today. My daughter has to choose between 37 different things, and there were no activities. Uh, and Girl Scouts really was that organization that provided that foundation for things like working together and working towards a goal and learning to help other people. And, um, you know, I, I showed my daughter this picture of me. I said, Audrey, what do you, what do you think of mom? I, I used to be a brownie, and you're going to be a brownie soon. And she looked at it, and she said, Mom, you look weird. <laughs> I, I said, what do, you, what, do you, what do you mean? And she said, well, your hair looks really different, and you're a lot older now, and you kind of look like a boy. So anyway, um, with that, I just want to thank everyone in this room for supporting the Girl Scouts, a phenomenal organization. I want to recognize something Denisha said earlier, and I think it came from her, her mom, which is anyone can look beautiful on the outside, but what matters is people who are beautiful on the inside, and that's what Girl Scouts teaches you to be. So with that, thank you so much.